Hi everyone, this is Charles Freddy, Filipinos America blog. Today I'm going to discuss to you why you need to learn English. Speak confidently as you learn and I'm going to tell you in this video how and why you need to speak and learn English the way it should be, okay? Most especially uh, in other parts of the world, most especially there in the Philippines and also even in India, okay? In India and other Asian countries. Uh, and I'm going to tell you right here why you should, okay? Again, if you haven't, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, like, and share this video because this will contain uh, too many reasons why you need it, okay? Guys, the first reason why you need to learn English and speak it with confidently is English is a global language. It is a global language, most especially when you travel abroad, if you go somewhere else, most especially here in the United States, there in Canada, in England, or in London, in, uh, in some parts of the European nations, where Filipino or uh, speaking uh, in Hindi, you cannot be understand. And English, here is English to come to your rescue because English is a global language. It's a tool to connect to each other. That is the, the word, connect. Connect through English, okay? So try to learn it, not tomorrow but right now. The second one, the second major reason why you need to speak or learn English is, it is English and will open you a world of new opportunities, a world of new opportunities in seeking employment, most especially there in the Philippines or in India or in other parts of the world, call center or what they call a PPO, English is the main tool to a success, especially in call center. It is the official being utilized in a call center in any companies there in the Philippines, most especially in the Philippines, as the Philippines now become a the capital uh, call center. Okay, so it is a must for you to speak it and to get a good job with good uh, uh, opportunities to grow and that will start of your career. That will start that will start a new career for you to have more opportunities to grow. You could after that you could go to an airlines company as for whatever position you could have and you could apply and you will be ready to go for any embassy applying to uh, to migrate to other countries most especially there in the Philippines. Okay, and it is uh, really uh, being a top one for you if you are able to have that special tool of learning because it is a subject of all learning like in, in mathematics, science, engineering, uh, medicine, nursing, and others. You name it, you have it. English is a tool to success. Okay? Number three. English will make you a hot property for any employer that you are applying for. And once you get hired, when you are uh, fluent in English, most especially if you are articulate, like PLDT, either in the Philippines, AT&T, here, it is a must for you to speak it with confidence. And that is what you have the most uh, wanted by most employer. You will be a hot property. You can use a powerful words, uh, the most powerful words that can convict any customer to, uh, to trust in your company. You will be an ambassador 
of goodwill to your company. As well as, you could also uh, use a business language in English, and that is what the business man wants it because you could easily be understand understand you could easily communicate uh, communicate effectively convincingly and that is a one good factor for your employer to have you as a hot property okay number four english is uh, uses only simple alphabet to learn to speak to write to understand uh, doesn't need any special character most often so it is easy to understand it is easy to write it, every everyone can learn it so easy okay so uh, compared to others who are like uh, other other countries uh, making the alphabet so so hard so hard to understand so 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 difficult to write right you agree so that's it so start now using it writing it listening it planning it to understand to make you a hot property of what i said in in my past uh, reason okay the number five is english is an official language in the constitution of the Philippines 1987 Philippine Constitution by speaking it it doesn't mean if you are a Filipino you are unbecoming a Filipino the thing is most Filipino there in the Philippines doesn't want and even criticize bashing all Filipino who speak English as unbecoming a Filipino and they're in India they're perhaps also it doesn't it is a purely a lie or lies because it really ineffective to for growth because it is a subject of all learning and how more especially when you are uh, doing uh, some computer works like here in YouTube like in Google in Facebook you always use English you really couldn't understand if you don't know how to speak it if you don't know how to listen it and if you are able to uh, understand it but you couldn't speak that is a big problem for you because what it bothers you that you are going to commit a grammar mistake which are the most common response to you most especially there in the Philippines when somebody speak uh, English they said oh you are making a lot of grammar you are you are I don't know what kind of a person you are see that is that is not the way how it should be the moment that you speak it on a regular basis on a daily basis go to a mirror go to a camera and start talking talking and talking reading and reading watching movie in english and also in school there are so many videos that is being pictured in a way how you learn it in english in all companies in all seminars they they use english not filipino okay you agree okay so those who are bashing people english uh, filipino people who are using english are not uh, unbecoming a Filipino they still a Filipino with much of learning than you guys uh, there in the Philippines who are bashing Filipino who could speak English fluently you need more especially the kids not for yourself but for the kids for the young generation uh, English it is the last six six reason for the for today English is a plain fan. Plain fan, why? When you watch movie, when you go to Facebook, when you go to YouTube, most open they are in English. If not, if they are in different language, but the starting is always in English. And how could you learn? You use it in the English language. You read it in the English language. You listen it in the English language. And that is start. 
you cannot the the most especially the Filipino is not open. There are so many characters that is not being reduced. There are so many words that is not present, and until now they are still improving. If we are going to wait for that, how long are we going to grow? It means as is, does it mean that we are going to stop for a while? But there is a no new word. So while waiting, you need to start. Most especially kids. Kids, if you are watching me. The young generation, if you're watching me, start right now. Don't listen to the elderly. They are stopping. They are st serve you as a blocking factor why you are not growing. Never listen to your elderly. Start now using English as a way to means to grow. Okay? In closing, guys, the best language in the world right now is English. One of the best language in the world. That will give you uh, that will give you self-confidence. Self-confidence means you could easily uh, develop your own creative ways. You could write it down. And the moment that you comes into your mind, write it down. Write it down. So you won't easily forget that word. So it is, uh, you could go anywhere in any country in the world. And when there is a, there is a problem with you to communicate, English is the most acceptable anywhere, even in Russia and even in China, most especially in Singapore. They are, they are really a good English speaker. Accurate, crispy, because they learn it by heart. Okay? If we are going to do that, there is no way that we can, that there is no way that I think that you are growing to, to grow soon. Okay? Learn it by heart, guys. Learn it by heart. This is your host, Freddy, Filipinos America blog. Never for, forget to learn English and never hold your peace. Okay? See you in my next blog. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And perhaps make some comment. If you learn it, put it in writing in the comment. Thank you. See you again in my next blog.